Hey everyone, welcome back to Angela's Kitchen. It's just me again. Um, this week, we are going to be making homemade guacamole and tostadas. This will be perfect for tomorrow, which is Taco Tuesday, which I like to call it Tostada Tuesday in our house. This is going to be a really healthy, delicious recipe that your whole family is going to enjoy. So let's get started. Okay. All right, the ingredients you're going to need for the guacamole is one tablespoon of lemon juice, one ripe avocado. You know it's ripe when you pull this off and it's got a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, but a little bit of a brown tinge to it. And then this is just however much of pepper, salt, garlic powder, and onion powder you want. So first you're gonna start with a knife at the base. Don't cut yourself. Cut it like so, turn it. This one's super easy because it doesn't have the pit in it. So just dump it out. And then this one's got the pit in it so you can either dig it out or you can, if you're good enough, you can just whack it and go like that. I'm not that good, but I don't want that in there. And then put this half on top of it. So funny story while I'm putting the rest of this in here, um, I didn't eat guacamole until I was an adult because my dad told me that it came from a guac bird. So there you go. If you know my dad, you know that that is absolutely something that he would say. It doesn't for any kids watching. It does not come from a guac bird. So now that you got all the ingredients up in there, you're just gonna mash, it <laughs> mash it up. Oh, I can't believe I've believed him for so long. Literally, I was out of the house by the time I had guacamole for the first time. All right, guacamole is ready to go. Now let's move over to the tostadas. Okay, so the base of the tostadas is corn tortillas. So I just have corn tortillas I bought at the grocery store. Putting it flat on a pan, I'm taking avocado oil and whatever this is called, and I'm just going to put it on top of each one, flip them over, and then put it on the other side as well. What is this called? A brushy spatula. A brushula? A basting brush. A basting, that sounds gross. I guess it sounds better than a brushula. It sounds like Dracula. If Dracula had a brush, it would be this. Now that we have the corn tortillas basted, because I found out that it's a basting thing, brush, we're gonna put cooling racks on top of them like that. We're gonna put them in the oven this way at 450 for five minutes on the top third, and then move it to the bottom third this way at 450 for five minutes. Okay, so I took this out of the oven, let it cool for about 10 minutes. I took the oven racks off of it and now I'm going to transfer a tostada onto here, but first I want you to hear this sound. That one was not, that one didn't do well. Hold on, let me get this one. There we go. <laughs> That's what we wanted. See, you hear that crack? So good. So we're just gonna use this now because it's gonna come apart anyways. All right, so we have refried beans and black beans. These are your protein sources. Um, as a vegetarian and vegan, these are great for getting your protein sources. These are vegetarian black beans, so they don't have any ex extra like fat and stuff in them from animals. Um, I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds just to heat them up. So on the back of my spoon, I'm just gonna pick up about that much. Try and get it on there. So better if you don't crack it beforehand. And then the black beans, again, about just half of them, however much you want to put on here. There's really no measuring. It's just whatever you feel like having. Some pico de gallo. Um, I bought this already made because I'm lazy and I didn't want to have to make this by myself because that just doesn't sound like a good time. Uh, this is cotija cheese that I just broke apart so it crumbles. 
And then remember that avocado we made earlier, the guacamole we made earlier? We're just gonna put that on top. And there you have it. Delicious tostadas. All right, since we already have it cracked, I don't have to worry about breaking it in half. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of everything. So good. So, so flavorful. So, if you can try this recipe, please let me know down below how you made it, how you made your own twist spin on it. And thanks for watching.